Hey mama, welcome to this stretch and flow. This is for you pregnant mamas in any trimester, but especially in that third trimester when birth is just on the horizon. So let's start off by coming to our mat and beginning this practice with some deep diaphragmatic breathing. So go ahead, place your palms on your belly, connecting to your baby, your body, and your breath. On the inhale, you're going to let your belly expand, your pelvic floor lengthen, and everything relax as oxygen fills your body. And then on the exhale, you're drawing in those abdominal muscles and drawing up the pelvic floor. So you're feeling this flow between loosening and expansion and tightening or lifting and contraction in your tummy and in your pelvic floor so at your own pace just take these deep breaths expansion on the inhale and contraction and lift on the exhale each breath in should be as deep as possible and each exhale should empty your body of the air that was in before. We'll take just a couple more breaths together. All right, let's come into a tabletop position with your arms stacked under your shoulders and begin with some big hip circles. So just like you're drawing a big old circle with your hips, you're going to hinge forward to the side and back and then to the other side, really just loosening and opening the pelvis. Move as deeply into each circle as comfortable, and now let's reverse the direction. Listening to your body, playing around with the movement if you want. few more circles together and now let's come into a tabletop position as we begin doing our pelvic circles so these circles aren't as big as the hip circles we're really focusing more on the pelvis opening it up increasing its mobility really preparing it to birth your baby through it. Let's go ahead and switch directions now. This is a nice little stretch for the lower back, especially when we are so used to sitting all day long. A few more together and now let's come into pelvic tilts so these are very similar to cat cow but we're not so much focusing on the spine as we are the pelvis so really try to picture your tailbone moving down facing towards the earth and then moving up and facing out the back of your body let's come into downward facing dog together and start pedaling out those feet and feeling the stretch in your calf muscles stretching out even this lower part of the body 
is actually impacting all the way up your legs into your glutes and into the other muscles and ligaments that feed into the pelvis and affect its mobility and its structure. Now let's come into Pigeon's Pose by bringing your right foot in front of your body and extending your left foot back. Prop yourself up on your hands so your back is straight and listen to your body here. If you want a deeper stretch, you can come onto your forearms, but if you are progressing into your pregnancy, it might be too challenging to do that with your belly. So just listen to your body, breathe into the stretch. Talk to your baby if you'd like, reminding them that you're a team doing this together. Go ahead and walk yourself up and bring your left foot forward and to the side while keeping your right knee bent with your foot in front of your body. Forward fold in front and then walk your fingers and hands over to your extended left leg. Breathe into the sensation, but don't overextend the stretch. We do not have the no pain, no gain mentality while we're stretching. Go ahead and walk your fingers now to the front of your body again and allow the stretch to deepen here now. Now walk your hands slowly back to your body and in this position, we're going to work on some hip mobility. So just take that bent knee and move it in towards your extended leg and then back out to the side. We don't move our hips and our legs like this very often daily. And so this is a great one to just increase that mobility that is going to help impact birth in a positive way. Last time. And now let's get into a nice little hamstring stretch. Go ahead and grab a rolled up blanket or a pillow to rest your head on and then your little band or your robe tie or a leash or a belt, something to loop around your foot. So use that band to loop around your foot and while you are in a lying down position, draw that foot up to you so your leg is extended up towards the sky. And bring that stretch in as much as you can while not over stretching that muscle in the back of your leg. Now go ahead and drop that leg over to the left side of your body for a little different hamstring stretch here. Keep breathing. And now bring that foot over to the right side of your body. Breathe into the stretch here, but don't overextend that stretch. Bring that leg back to center and then gently drop the foot. Keep the band on the right foot here and then bring yourself up to prepare for our next stretch by bringing the left foot forward in front of you and then lifting and picking up your right foot with your right arm and drawing that band close to your hips. Try to keep your back straight or play around with the movement a little bit and see where you feel the most comfortable and relieving stretch. 
You'll probably be feeling this stretch and this lengthening in the front of your hip as well as a little bit in your lower back because this is targeting the psoas muscle which starts at your lower spine, wraps in front, and connects to your pelvis. Go ahead and gently release that right foot now. And you can go ahead and put that band on the side of your mat now. Let's go ahead and come into downward facing dog together. Pedal out those legs, shaking out the stretch and reconnect with your deep breath. A few more seconds. Now come into tabletop position and let's prepare for pigeon pose on the other side. So our left leg comes out in front with our bent knee and then our right leg extends behind us. You can maintain the stretch here with your palms in the earth or if your belly allows and your stretch is calling, you can move onto your forearms here. Close your eyes if you'd like and draw awareness to your baby and their connection with your breath. A few moments here. While keeping your left knee bent, go ahead and extend that right leg now and forward fold to the front of your mat and then walk your fingers slowly and purposefully over to your right extended leg. You might notice here that one side held a little bit more tension than the other and that's what's so important about stretching during your pregnancy is just restoring balance to your whole body. You can play around with the stretch and the movement here. Walk your hands to the front of your mat for a little forward stretch, and then slowly walk your hands back to your body. Keep that left knee bent as we work on our mobility now in that left leg, hinging it side to side, in towards your extended leg, and then out on the opposite side. Keep it in sync with the breath. Nice and easy. We'll do a couple more. Now go ahead and grab that rolled up blanket again or your pillow and that band. Wrap it around your left foot after coming into a lying down position. Your right leg will extend down to the ground and your left leg will extend up towards the sky. Pull that leg up towards your chest as much as you can. 
but not overextending that stretch. Connect to the breath, nice, slow breathing, and drop that leg over to the opposite side of your body. You might notice a little bit more tightness on one side versus the other now that you're stretching your left side. I'm definitely feeling more tightness on my left side than I did on my right leg. But just breathe into the stretch and now drop your left leg onto the left side of your body while maintaining tension in that band or that leash or rope, but not overextending that stretch. It's just a gentle stretch. And now bring your foot and your leg back to center and slowly and gently drop your foot and your leg. Come onto your side as you rise up Move the pillow or blanket off to the side as you get ready for that psoas stretch by bringing the band and your left foot over to your hip. Lengthen the back while your right knee is bent in front of your body. Again, you might be feeling this in your lower back as well as in the hip flexors, which are in the front part of that hip area. This is a great stretch to prepare you for birth. You can play around with the movement. If you need a little bit more stability, you can always bring your hand down to the mat. But now let's gently release the foot you can put that band over to the side. And now we're going to move into another downward dog as we prepare for our next stretch. Let's come onto our knees. And starting on your right side, come onto your forearm with your right knee bent and your top leg extended being supported by your foot. And extend your top arm above your head and think of your body as a rainbow, stretching out that whole side of your body, allowing your ribs to open Baby, sometimes as they're growing, just get tucked up there in the rib. <laughs> can be a little uncomfortable. So this stretch just lengthens that whole side and brings openness to that area. Now come on down and switch to the other side, forearm down on the floor, left knee bent, supporting your body and your top leg extended as your arm reaches overhead and your body becomes a rainbow. Stretching out that whole side of your body Breathe into that side that's feeling the length and the opening. Let's do this one last time together. And down and release. From here, let's come into downward facing dog for a couple of breaths. And then let's bring that left foot between your palms, letting your toes face out to the left while your right toes remain facing forward. And then bring that left palm down to the ground as you keep your chest open and raise your right palm to the sky. If your whole palm on the floor is too much for you, come up onto your fingertips for this stretch. 
Then when you're ready, bring both palms down and then walk them over to the middle and then over to the other side of your body as you straighten out your other toes to the side and your left toes face forward. And you bring your other arm up towards the sky and your right arm to the earth. Like I said, come onto your fingertips if having your palm flat on the floor is too much for you during this stretch. Bring your hands down, walk them to center, point both toes forward and come into a deep squat if you can. If this unsupported deep squat is too much for you, go ahead and grab that pillow or rolled up blanket or better yet, a yoga block if you have one and tuck it under your bottom so you have a little bit more support like I am showing you now. Even with the yoga block, you are still achieving that deep squat, which is what we want as we are preparing for birth. Keep using that diaphragmatic breath here, feeling the release and slight bulge of your pelvic floor on the inhale, and then your pelvic floor drawing up on the exhale. Go ahead and place your palms on the ground and come out of this position. And now come onto your side first, then roll over to your back as we prepare for happy baby. Lift your legs up slowly and gently, grab onto your big toes and allow your legs to fall out to the side as comfortably as possible. And go ahead and just play with the movement here. You might find yourself preferring a more static stretch while some of you might be gravitating towards rolling your spine side to side. Keep up with that diaphragmatic breathing as your pelvic floor bulges out and then contracts back in. This is bringing balance to that pelvic floor to prepare it for the birthing process. Now gently, one at a time, drop your feet back to the floor, grab that pillow or that rolled up blanket and then come over onto your side. Once you're on your side, go ahead and take that top leg and bend your knee and drop it in front of your body. And just rest and relax in this pose. Connect to your baby. Connect to your breath. Connect to your body. You're just present here with yourself and your baby. It doesn't matter what's going on around you, just closing your eyes and slowing your breath allows you to find peace and relaxation. As this video comes to an end, this practice doesn't have to end for you yet. You can remain in this position as long as you like and as long as it's comfortable for you. Just being with yourself and your baby. But whenever you do rise, know that you will rise with energy, with grounding, and with new connection to your baby and your body. Bye, mamas.